Hello! Welcome back to my channel. This is Victoria, this is Pembroke Beauty, and today I'm gonna do an Easter-inspired look. So I got my ears going. And I don't know what I'm doing today as far as like makeup and whatnot. I just know that I'm having an Easter-y theme. So we're just gonna go with the flow and I'm hopefully gonna figure this out as we go along. So I'm gonna start, I think, with my face makeup and I might just like hurry on through this because you guys have seen me do it a bunch of times. So I'm going to start there and let's go. Welcome to my humble abode. Um, sorry. I'm going to do my eye makeup now because I finished my face, as you saw, um, very swiftly. I just put some highlighter on and all that jazz, and you watched me do it, so. Anyway, um, so I think I'm going to go for more of like a pastel type look, but I don't, I don't love how pastels look on me because I don't think that they like pop very well. So I'm going to try a different method that I've tried before and hopefully it'll work a little bit. So I'm going to start with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, which is a white jumbo eye pencil and I'm going to put this all over my lids in hopes to give the pastel shadow something more to cling to than just my skin because I struggle, like I said, to get the colors to pop because they are so pastel and I myself am fair. So as you can see, I just messily put this on and I'm going to dab it in with my finger, hoping that the warmth will make it a little bit easier to blend. And I'm just going to blend that kind of all the way up my eye. As you can see, it didn't leave, like it's not super white now that I blended it in because I am so freaking pale. But it did give a little bit more of a brighter canvas than it was before. Okay, so now that I'm nice and white, I'm going to go in with the Morphe 35B palette, which is the colorful palette that you guys, I'm sure, have seen me use a bunch of times in my other videos. And if you haven't seen them, then I guess you should probably subscribe to me and hit the bell and follow me on Instagram and all that jazz. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to 
go in, I think with the white shadow first, like when I put colorful shadows on there, it might make it hard for them to blend since it is kind of a tacky base and I don't want it to be a struggle for me. So I'm going to make my life easier and set that down. So I'm gonna go in with this big Morphe Beautiful and Bronze brush and into the white shadow right here and I'm just going to set my lids with that. So now that I look all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, do you get it? Because I'm wearing bunny ears and it's about Easter and it's bushy-tailed and bunnies have bush tails. I thought that was kind of clever. And I'm going to go in with this light pink shade right here on the same brush. And I'm going to place this into my crease a teeny bit. So usually when I put this shade on, it's like basically my skin tone almost. And now that I put that white base down, it is a little bit brighter and it shows up a little bit more than it normally would. So that is definitely the purpose of putting a white base down before you start. So now I'm gonna go in with this bright pink shade right here on the same brush. I'm feeling reckless. Reckless. And I'm just going to place this a little bit lower in the crease, but still kind of blowing it out. I don't want this look to be completely pink though, so I'm not going to go like crazy hard with this. I do want it to be slightly Easter egg-like though, so I do want to have the pink in there. Because when you think of Easter, you think, at least when I think of Easter, I think of like bright pink, light blue, um, yellow, you know, kind of like pastel colors, but still bright and fun and colorful and springy. So that is my goal for the day. So I'm going to focus this more on my outer V now as well. And I'm just going to use little circular motions to do that. So I'm going to leave it at this pink because I don't want it to get too pink like I was saying. So I'm going to now go in with the purpley pink shade that was right above it right here. And I'm actually going to go in with the Elizabeth Mott blending brush. Shocker! And I'm going to go in with this shade right here like I said. And I'm going to deepen up the outer corner of this look here. Now I'm gonna go in with the same concealer that we were using before. And I'm going to put a teeny bit on my inner lid here. I wiped off most of the excess. I just wanted to get some down. So now I'm gonna take one of my e.l.f. concealer brushes and I'm going to cut half of my crease with the concealer now. So like I said, I'm not going the whole way across my lid, but I am going to cut it about halfway, or three quarters of the way, I guess. Now I'm gonna stay with that same brush and I'm gonna go back into the white shade from the Morphe Beautiful and Bronze set and I'm going, or brush, no. Morphe, good lord. I'm going in with the e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm going to put the white shade from the Morphe 35B palette on the part that we just cut out with the concealer. And I'm using this brush because I really wanted it to be concentrated. And with this little brush you can really get in there. So that looks pretty symmetrical at the moment, which is like, hallelujah. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the green Perlune Super Shock Cheek from ColourPop. And this is like a 
greeny white duochrome and I'm gonna put that all over the lid that we just cut and I'm going to use the same exact e.l.f. concealer brush to do so. And like I did with the white shade, I'm really gonna pack this on here and make this look like a full shadow because I want, I want the shimmer, I want the green, I want it to feel like spring. So I want a stark color, which is why having the white underneath of there really helps to bring out the shade. So you could go in with the shade on your finger, but my fingers are too big because I have large hands. And I will definitely not be precise enough to keep the cut crease that we have, so that is why I'm going in with this brush. But that is why I love this brush, because this brush is literally a dollar. And how many times have you seen me use this brush in my tutorials? A lot. Therefore, it's a great brush. And if you are looking for a precision highlighting brush, everything brush, I, I recommend you get this one. So I'm gonna, on that note, highlight my inner corners with the same highlighter, and I'm also gonna highlight my brow bone. So now I'm going to go back in with the Elizabeth Mott blending brush and I'm going to go back in with that purpley magenta shade that we were using before and I'm really going to blend the end and deepen up the corners of this look. So now I'm going to take the Lime Crime, mm, nope, Lime Crime Velveteen in Thistle which is like a pastel blue. And I'm going to take a little bit of that on this brush right here, which is the um, Eco Tools dual ended brush. And I'm going to take a little bit right on the tip of the brush. Like, as you can see, I literally only got that much on there. I don't want much. And I think I'm just going to kind of do little dots. Okay, now I'm going to take the NYX Vivid Brights in the purple shade. This is Vivid Violet. And I'm going to do little dots in the shape of a wing all along my line, my lash line. Okay, so to pull in the green that we have on the lid, I'm going to kind of do a green to yellow, I think, to be like grass and whatnot. Um, I'm going to go in with the other end of the Eco Tools brush that we were using before, and I'm gonna go in with this bright yellow right here in the corner on the Morphe palette, in the Morphe palette. And I'm going to put this on my lower lash line all the way across. And I'm really gonna kind of blow this out a bit. I'm gonna kind of pull that along the bottom of the wing that we have going on here. And then I'm going to take the more nubbier counterpart of that brush set. And I'm gonna go in with this Kelly Green right here. And I'm going to focus this tighter to the lash line on more of the outer part of the eye. But I do want this to be a strong color on its own, so I am going to pack it on. And then to just pull the whole look together, because why not? We're already going for the rainbow, obviously. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Slide On Glide On Azure liner on my waterline. And 
because this will kind of mix in with the green so it won't be super obvious that it's blue but it is turquoise so I'm gonna add a little bit more green and I'm gonna go in with the green that's right underneath of the Kelly green that we were just using this is more of like a tealy green and I'm gonna mix it in with the Kelly green from before and I'm going to focus that again on the lower lash line So I'm going to curl my lashes. So now I'm going to set my face with the Make It Last Milani Setting Spray, which I've never tried before and I really wanted to. And I have tried the Make It Dewy Setting Spray and I told you guys I did like that one, but it wasn't like my all-time favorite. It did definitely make me look dewy, but I felt like it kind of... I don't know it, it made me look dewy but I almost felt like it was almost greasy like on the verge of being greasy so I don't know it wasn't like my all-time favorite I still think my all-time favorite is the elf illuminating mist and set so I'm gonna try this out because I've heard awesome reviews about it and maybe I'll like it more So before I do my mascara, because I just felt like it needed a little bit of glitter, I'm going to go in with the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in Crystal Hip, which is like a clear, like this liner's clear, but it has rainbow glitters in it. And I'm just going to like trace over top of where we have the liner going because it's clear, so you won't know, and you'll just see the little glitters when I'm done. So I'm going to let that dry really quick, and then I'm going to put on... So I'm going to let that dry really quick and then I'm going to put on the Worth the Hype NYX mascara and I don't think I'm going to wear lashes today because I want my liner art to show and if I put lashes on then you won't be able to see them. But in case you guys were wondering, I do still have a code with Azerdo Cosmetics and I'll put it down here and it will save you 10%, yeah, it'll save you 10% on your purchase of whatever you want to buy from that website. All the lashes that you buy are handmade, they are cruelty free, and 5% of all the proceeds goes to cancer research. So it's a really good way to buy affordable, high quality lashes that have a cause behind them. Okay, so now that I have my lashes, mascara, etc., I'm going to put on the Starfire Pink Lip Liner. And if you guys haven't heard of Starfire Cosmetics, then you haven't been watching my channel, so what have you even been doing with your lives? But you should check them out. I did a full review on some of their products, and I think it was my either my last or second to last video, depending on when I post things. But if you haven't seen that, you should probably check it out because they're a really good brand and they have really nice products, so check that one out. So I'm just going to line my lips and fill them all the way in, and then I'm going to go in with the Velvet Mousse from Hard Candy in the shade Cherry Blossom. And this is probably like one of my favorite drugstore liquid lipsticks ever. Like it's really good, and if you guys haven't tried them, they're cruelty free. They smell like vanilla cupcakes and they're hard candy so they are sold at Walmart and they're very inexpensive and they last all day and they're really really comfortable. Like they call them velvet mousse and that's a perfect way to describe them. So check those ones out too if you haven't. Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And by the way, happy Easter. And if you don't celebrate Easter, then happy bunny day, because who doesn't love bunnies? And with that being said, I would just like to throw out there that this entire tutorial 
like almost all of my other tutorials, are 100% cruelty free, in case you guys haven't noticed. I try really hard, and I think that it's super important that we save the bunnies. So definitely keep up with my channel if you're into that vibe, and please give this video a thumbs up, comment any suggestions that you have for me down below. Please subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell so that you get notifications every single time I upload. If you want to follow me on Instagram, that would be super cool too. And if you want to do that, I'll put the handle right here. And you can see when I upload videos, I usually post a picture or something saying like, hey, check out my channel so that you know when I upload and I upload a whole bunch of other stuff too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that I will see you in my next one. Bye! My little ears. Okay. That was pretty quick. Speedy. I look horrible.